Let's bring you up to speed right now. First at 4:30, eight former priests who at one time worked or were linked to Brophy Prep High School are named in a report of sexual abuse allegations. Some of the abuse dates back 60 years. None mentioned currently works at the school. The Brophy community was alerted earlier this month that this report was coming. Ahead on 12 News at 5, we're going to dig into the allegations and the former priests who were named. Buckeye father has been re-arrested in the death of his infant son. 25-year-old John Anthony Santano is facing charges of first-degree murder and child abuse stemming from the death of his three-month-old son in June of last year. Santano was first arrested in May, but the case was dismissed without prejudice, meaning charges could be refiled. Additional evidence came to light, leading to Santano's re-arrest. Santano told investigators Investigators initially he was home alone with his son for about 20 minutes when he left the baby face down on the bed to take a shower. When an autopsy showed the little boy actually died from head trauma, Santano blamed the dogs, saying they jumped on the bed, causing the infant's death. Pressure continues mounting on Arizona Representative David Stringer to resign from the legislature. This week, in a stunning move, an entire school district just banned Stringer from their campuses. Humboldt Unified's superintendent says Stringer is out of touch with reality. Stringer has parroted white nationalist views. The governor and other lawmakers have asked him to step down. He said as recently as last night, that he will not. The former head of CBS, Les Moonves, destroyed records and misled investigators looking into claims of sexual misconduct. That's according to a report just released by CBS. The network is trying to deny his $120 million severance package. Moonves denies those allegations, and his wife, CBS personality Julie Chen Moonves, has stood by him. Chen says this whole ordeal 